Last week was a little bit crazy because I had my heating and air unit replaced. So I was a little bit up in the air for a while. I was able to carve a piece and I did it in pine because I got the MD, I got MDF and I was using that and it was so crumbly I just couldn't even use it. Everything transferred on to the blocks and started carving and it just was not working whatsoever. So I abandoned that, went to the store and got some more uh, pine. You know the last time I used poplar and this time I'm using pine so I just wanted to give that a try and it, it worked really well. It's very soft, uh, carved very well, and I'm gonna do the background in a reduction print. So one, multiple layers with one, um, one block, and then I'm gonna carve away each color. Right now I'm gonna transfer the image over from um, one block to the other and I'll show you how that's done. I'm gonna use my new roller that I got. I got a wide roller. So I'm happy, excited to try that out. So like I said, this is gonna be in a reduction print and I'm gonna transfer this one onto this one. I just moved ink over on accident. It's not going to hurt anything. So this wide roller, I'm hoping it'll help. I've never used a really wide roller like this. I mean, I have large rollers, but not just specifically width, skinny, but wide. All right, I reset the height of the press. The last one I used was pretty thin. Let's run it through. Not a great print, but that's okay because we're just transferring it. Now we'll run it through here. And hopefully we'll get enough on there to know what we're doing at least. It doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be a good reference. Let's see how we did here. Mm, that's not good enough. So I'm gonna try it again. All right, I redid it, um, printed on a piece of paper, and then ran the paper over this. That took a couple times actually. Um, wasn't as straightforward as I would like it to be, but it'll work for sure. All I really need is the placement of certain things um, so I'm going to do this at least one two four colors at least four plus the key block um, and I have a few fun new things I'm going to use too like this burnt plate oil which is basically, I think, linseed oil um, to work with the viscosity of your ink. And I've also got this transparent base, which I'm excited to use. So I can uh, manipulate the th how thick and thin and transparent and opaque the ink is. Um, and that'll be great help 
for this print. So we'll, I'm not going to print it right now. We're going to print it probably tomorrow and because I, I have to do carving in between each print, but that'll be a good project for tomorrow or actually Tuesday. But yeah, thanks for coming along.